Welcome back to Berry Berry Life, bringing you easy and delicious vegan and vegetarian recipes from around the world. Today we're making a healthy and delicious broccoli Caesar salad. This recipe was gifted to us by our cousin, who made it for a picnic we shared at a vineyard. It was so good, we just had to share it. So let's get started. We'll start with a pound of broccoli florets. We'll load them into the spinner basket and give them a rinse. With the broccoli rinsed, we'll pop on the top and give it a few spins in the spinner. This is my favorite part. My wife always makes fun of me for that. This is one of our essential gadgets in the kitchen. We make a variety of recipes, and when we shop for groceries, we usually get a bunch of veggies, herbs, and greens. When we get home, we wash everything and use this salad spinner to dry it out before storing. It's perfect for meal planning and organization. By doing this, the produce lasts longer and there is less spoilage, so it basically pays for itself. With the broccoli dry, we'll remove the stems and cut the florets into small bite-sized pieces. I like to use a paring knife for this. It really helps to get into the small spaces. This step is a little bit more work, but cutting them down to a more manageable bite-sized pieces really makes a difference when combining all the ingredients. It also helps with chewing and digestion. Hey, did you hear about the broccoli's new job? It's now a stockbroker. That's it. We're done with the florets. If you're wondering what to do with the leftover stems, we usually chop off the rough edge and break them into small pieces. There's still a good deal of flavor and nutrition in these stems, and we don't want to let it go to waste. They can be used to create stocks or tossed into soups or even fried rice. We'll add these to a parchment lined air fryer tray and spread them out. No oil or seasoning needed. And then place them into the air fryer on the dehydrate setting. Outside of the air frying, dehydrate is our favorite feature on the air fryer. We use it to dehydrate fruits, vegetables, tofu and mushrooms. Great way to preserve things. Air frying is all about a low temperature over a long period of time. So 135 degrees Fahrenheit or less. For our crispy element, we'll start by adding some extra virgin olive oil to a pan on low medium heat. Then we'll add one cup of these bran buds. You can also use bran flakes. These are great, almost like tiny croutons. They'll really adhere to the broccoli florets. Then we'll add a little bit of garlic powder or this granulated garlic. Adjust it to your taste and preference, along with a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce, or tamari, for our savory and umami element. Then we'll gently stir to combine and toast over this low heat. These will provide little bursts of flavor in the salad. While we're not showing it here, we actually tried toasting these in the air fryer. However, they burned relatively quickly. Our temperature was just too high. So we opted for using the pan for ease and convenience. When they're dry and toasted like this, we'll take them off the heat and allow them to cool down. Typically Caesar dressing is made with anchovies. They're these salty fish. However, to make it vegetarian, we're going to replace them with capers. If you don't have capers, you can also replace them with Kalamata olives or cornichons, these little pickles. along with three tablespoons of Greek yogurt, which is thicker than plain yogurt, and it'll give the dressing some stick to -itiveness. You can also use vegan yogurt as well. Next, we have some vegan mayonnaise. We like this brand called Follow Your Heart, but feel free to use your favorite brand. This will help make the dressing creamier. Along with one teaspoon of minced garlic. Next, we have our minced capers. A tablespoon of Dijon. This is our favorite ingredient for a lot of dressings. Then a splash of balsamic vinegar. It'll give it a bit more tang and complexity of flavor. Next, a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Along with the zest of a lemon for a bright citrusy flavor. The essential oils from the zest will give it a more intense lemony flavor. 
It's also rich in antioxidants and vitamin C, so don't skimp out. We'll also add 1 tablespoon of lemon juice for a bright citrusy acidity. We'll also add a dash of cayenne pepper. This is optional, just not in our household. Then we'll grate some Parmesan cheese. You can also use Pecorino Romano for a sharper flavor, or opt for a vegan Parmesan. And add some salt and freshly ground black pepper. The Parmesan cheese already is salty, so you can adjust the salt level to your desired preference. Always ground black pepper when you need it. It loses its fragrance very quickly. Then we'll stir and get all the ingredients combined. You can definitely make this ahead of time and store it in the refrigerator until needed. That's it. Our homemade vegetarian Caesar dressing is done. We'll assemble a salad in our large salad bowl. This is by far one of the easiest and most delicious salads we've ever made. It's made with simple ingredients we have in the kitchen or in the pantry. To create something truly exceptional, first we'll add the dressing and get every last drop. Next we'll add our flavory bran buds. With the broccoli and the bran buds being high in fiber, this salad will be extremely filling. And give it a toss. Wow, just look at that color. So vibrant and appetizing. This salad is really versatile. As mentioned, the first time we had it was at a picnic, but it's also perfect for potlucks. It works as a main dish or a side dish. You can prepare the individual components in advance and assemble on the day of. It really transports well. That's it, it's ready to be served. So let's dig in. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please let us know in the comments below and be sure to click the like button as well as share this recipe with your friends and family so they too can enjoy this recipe. And remember to subscribe to follow our channel. We upload recipes every week and you don't wanna miss out. For the written recipe as well as the link to our favorite salad spinner, check out the video description box below. We'll serve ourselves a generous portion and top it off with more Parmesan cheese. Is there ever enough Parmesan cheese on a Caesar salad? I don't think so. Along with more of those crunchy bits. Salads don't have to be boring and they should reflect your tastes and preferences from flavors to textures. So go ahead and make this your own. There you have it. Broccoli Caesar salad. A healthy and delicious salad in the comfort of your own kitchen. Thank you for watching. Enjoy!